gone. And Daddy, too. Wait. This is happening before? At none. Why aren't you here? Why is it today and not then when you were warm and sweet? Why can't Mommy hold you to her breast and feel you? Baby and me! Baby and me!
Society. She got it on him. He keeps her safe. Hey, I'm Jeff Keeley here in Boston to go behind the scenes to hear some untold stories about the making of Bioshock with Ken Levine and Sean Robertson. Let's talk a bit about the theme and setting of Bioshock, Rapture. Uh, and I think a lot of people, when they played the game for the first time, Ken, they wondered, how did you even dream up this place? And I know you've said publicly before that part of the reason you sort of, what led you to Rapture was this idea of fully simulating a place. Uh, tell us about that sort of idea and the frustrations you had with other games where there, you sort of hit a bound. I think our philosophy is, was always to do what we were doing 100% rather than try to do something bigger and do it 50% or 40%. So one of the ideas of, you know, and this sort of came from System Shock 2 as well, where you focus on an area that you can really bring to life and you kind of eliminate the questions of, well, why can't I go over the bridge to New Jersey? So we were able to really make a place, I think, that felt believable and real, even though in actuality it was really quite limited. But we just sort of dressed it with all these buildings outside that were all, you know, they were all basically glorified fakes. We let the story drive what we needed to show rather than some kind of like predetermined map which we set.
One of the bitches sent to you, the KGB wolf with the CIA jackal. Here's the news. Rapture isn't some sunken ship for you to plunder. And Andrew Ryan isn't a giddy socialite who can be slapped around by government muscle. And with that, farewell. Or does Vavania, Jerry? I should have died with this, Everything will work out. Just you want it, right? 